on a spring day in 2008, the claimant, Mr. Mohammed, stopped at a petrol station in the small heath area of Birmingham. <clears throat> Mr. Mohammed was a Somalian, and he was on his way with others to an event in London. He wanted to print some documents from a UBS tick, so he went into the kiosk to inquire of the person behind the counter if he could help. The petrol station was part of a Morrison supermarket, and the man behind the counter was their employee, Mr. Khan. Mr. Khan gave a rude answer to Mr. Hamid's request. Mr. Mohammed objected to the way he was spoken to. Mr. Khan then ordered him off the premises with a torrent of threatening and racist abuse. Mr. Mohammed returned his car, but he was followed by Mr. Khan. Before Mr. Mohammed could drive off, Mr. Khan opened the passenger door, told him never to return, and punched him on the head. Mr. Mohammed got out to close the passenger door, but Mr. Khan continued to assault him, knocking him to the ground and delivering kicks and punches. The question of law for the court is whether Morrisons who employed Mr. Khan are liable for the injuries caused to Mr. Mohammed by the deplorable conduct of their employee. The trial judge said that the answer was no. He expressed sympathy for Mr. Mohammed, but dismissed the claim on the ground that there was insufficient connection between what Mr. Khan was employed to do and the assault which he carried out for the employers to be held liable. The Court of Appeal upheld the judge's decision. <clears throat> Mr. Mohammed was given permission to appeal to this court. Sadly, he died before the appeal was heard, but the case has been continued by his estate. The claimant's counsel submitted that the close connection test applied by the courts below was unsatisfactory and that the court should apply a different and wider test. He also argued that the decision of courts below, in any event, was wrong. The court unanimously allows the appeal. The judgment which we're handing down traces the history of the development of this branch of the law the court has concluded that there is nothing wrong with the close connection test properly applied. In a case such as this, the court has to ask itself two questions. The first is, what field of activities was entrusted to the employee by the employer? Or in other words, what was the nature of his job? And that question has to be looked, answered broadly. Second question is whether there was enough connection between the field of activities entrusted to the employee and his wrongful act for it to be just for the employer to be held responsible. In this case, it was Mr. Khan's job to attend to customers and deal with their inquiries. He did so in a thoroughly wrong fashion. But what he did was a seamless course of events and he was going about his employer's business in ordering Mr. Mohammed to leave the employer's premises and never to return. The violence used was a reinforcement of his order not to return to the employer's premises, and all took place in the context of responding to an entirely legitimate customer inquiry. In the judgment of the court, it was sufficiently connected to the job assigned to him that it is just that the employers should be held responsible. Thank you. The court is now adjourned.